Good morning, Vietnam. Uh, I just wanted to say about this movie. I watched it yesterday. It's called Zardoz. Zardoz. It is from 1974 with Sean Connery. Yeah, I think Sean Connery was born with moustache, you know, and was born as mid-aged man, you know. I don't think he was ever 20. Or, yeah, very funny. Yeah, I thought it was just a piece of kitsch cinema, you know. I never watched it. And I watched it, like, in 2021. And you have to see this stuff, how, how much stuff are inside. Um, very, very interesting. I mean, uh, in, in the time we are living, but it, I cannot watch movies. They are not interesting. Very, very few, few, few movies I can, I can maybe half watch, you know, and run in between, but they, they, they are very boring. And you start watching those movies of, of the 70s, 80s or something, and you just get caught, you get caught because there, there is, I mean, they, they dare, they dare to, there to to make to put something you know to something deep uh, and something uh, they don't care you know they just put in them to, uh, funny sometimes they put sense of humor for some some they can go into different direction there was freedom also in in cinema you know and, and now it's just a ridiculous uh, junk junk food junk cinema junk art you know so you can watch it i find it on this uh, uh, streaming uh, website it's called yifi.stream yifi is a y i f y dot stream and you can find zardos there uh, the the reality is giving us all its media you know it, it wants to keep contact with us you know this is why everything is available on internet you know all the media all the storage space for us youtube and everything for us to keep in contact with this and give it give it life it's our consciousness so so it might be really uh, some surviving mechanism of this uh, uh, construct ar artificial co construct so less there, there is a lot of the, of them called egregores and um, structures of uh, of energies put in place by uh, by the human consciousness and they try to be alive, you know. So this, this is why they are try. They try to keep us interested, like a religion try to keep its um, its minions, uh, energetic minions, uh, sending their attention, consciousness, energy, luge, whatever, to keep the stuffs uh, existing. So the cinema also. I mean, uh, most of the movies I can, I see today. I will not even go watch them in cinema, even if they pay me seven euros. I will not sit there for two hours watching this crap, you know, hurting my brain and my insulting my intelligence. So, uh, yes, so it has to keep feeding us this rubbish and uh, the people get more and more stupid. So they, they want more stupidity and they want to, to watch it from their homes, you know. So there, there is, so the system is obliged to keep in contact, keep in touch, you know. So this is why the YouTube, the storage capabilities, uh, Rootube, uh, Odyssey, Root, everything. Uh, how do you call it? The others. All the other new platforms you can store if you want to run from an order. You fall, you fall into the order. You know, just, uh, just keep in, uh, keep uh, externalizing the human consciousness. But it's okay because uh, now we, uh, a lot of people are starting to understand, and uh, change their position of consciousness to put it inside into their own their own power this uh, this energy that goes into creating those those structures now we we turn it back we turn this um, spot spot of light inside of us so to become ourselves to become a being you know so ultimately where are you going to go where are you going to fall you're going to fall into your own power into your own self into your own capability to be to exist and it's to exist that means everywhere you don't exclude yourself for any band of frequency nothing and this is very powerful so so the soulless structures are afraid of this being you are we are something that is i think they sh they they shit in their pants <coughs> <coughs> when they imagine just they imagine what we can be i don't think they can understand it because if they were able of understanding they will not be this kind of uh, of 
of stuffs, you know, the, the solar structure cannot understand it, just a reaction, it is just a reaction uh, to exist, defense mechanism to survive, to keep the energy flowing and everything. But once you, you understand what is, what, is, what is the job, the job is in you, inside of you, to be you, to be more of you and, and to do what you want, no, nobody can tell you. Me, I want stuff, so I want to be this and that, to be a, like a very incarnated being. I have, I have this feeling to no, not let any direction for any other. Now I am, I am walking barefoot on the earth just to connect myself and uh, connect with this body. Uh, just for connection, I don't do stuffs for good health or something. I'm, I'm not eating healthy or something. I just I, everything I do is to connect more with my own self. You know, it's, uh, whether it's uh, drinking a beer or walking barefoot, it's the same. It's always this uh, integration of myself within within myself. So the more and more people are feeling it, we are reaching this maybe maybe this uh, critical critical mass, critical number of people feeling it. I can feel it in the air, I can feel it in in myself, so sometimes I feel something get faster and faster, and this is the moment. I see a lot of uh, YouTubers, all of them have uh, different qualities, different frequency of light, understanding, different intellect, some very sharp people, very, uh, very uh, common sense, you know, bright intellect, that uh, some stuff sometimes you see in the others and you, oh, this is so good, you know. I don't have that level of this, but I have something might 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 be a little bit different. So we are all gods, you know. Like when this uh, Sixth Sense movie, he said, "I see dead people. Me, I see god people. I see god people. <laughs> you know, I see I see them by praying. I see their power. You know, their their way of understanding, changing reality. You know, and people are starting to understand it." I think we are living very, very interesting uh, times. Okay, how, how much is the time? 7.11. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to say. I, uh, yeah. I just remembered something. Uh, there was uh, the Mandela effect, you know. Uh, the most crazy shit is when you see this pastor uh, asking the, his, his followers to, to recite, to say some part of the Bible, and then this, he, he tells them to, he, he tells them to, to check in the Bible and it's not there or it's different. It is crazy stuff. And now something appeared, you know, L like very disturbed me in those Mandela effect, very, very disturbed me. It was... Recall Victor the channel. I will send. I will send you the link. I mean, it was so disgusting, and, and it's something that I know. I did sport all my life. I did run for a long, long time, like one, one hour every day. You know, on the sand, the dry sand, putting one kilo and a half in each wrist. Yeah, a lot of power. I was really, really into sport at certain moment, and now in this Mandela effect, you see people. When they run, they start bleeding from their nipples. Really, like men's men, like they run and there is blood, and like it's normal, like there is no problem, like it happens when you run, you know. And he showed some photo like this, and I was totally disgusted. Never existed in my reality, never ever. If there is any Mandela effect that just killed me, it's this one. I I can I cannot even believe it. So. If somebody has the guts to investigate this, I can't, I can't, I just can't. Maybe it's, maybe it's the biggest joke ever about Mandela Effect. And if it's, if it's that, it's a piece of, uh, a piece of genius. <laughs> the guy who did this or the, the people who organized this, if it's real, I mean, Mandela Effect here is 100%, 2000% real. So bleeding nipples when you run, crazy shit. Okay, guys, see you next time.